After a high-speed chase that ended with an officer shooting a man and then a suicide, the chief of Austin police complimented his officers but also added more resources are needed. 26-year-old Patrick Faith was killed in the incident. Police say a recent breakup with his girlfriend led to a SWAT standoff on Friday night when he threatened to kill himself. It eventually led to the chase that ended with Faith being shot and then committing suicide near East Riverside and Highway 71. Tonight we have new details as Chris Sadegi explains most of the entire incident was caught on dash cam except for the end which the chief chalks up to a lack of equipment. Chris. Well the chief complimented his officers for how they handled this situation but then added that they need better equipment. He's gonna try to kill himself and he just shot the gun in the house. That was the 911 call from Faith's ex-girlfriend to police. Faith had the gun at the house and was also waving it in the direction of officers during the ordeal. That's why they believe he was trying to commit suicide by cop. Most all the chase was caught on dash cam video, including when Faith tried to carjack a pickup truck, which is what led to Officer Javier Bustos firing the shot that hit his shoulder. But due to the positioning of the vehicles, they did not capture Faith's suicide. Ironically, the APD helicopter aiding in the chase had to go down to refuel. The chief says this is an example of what he's been saying for a while. In a capital city of a prominent state, Austin needs help from the federal government to afford more helicopters. He says as the economy recovers, that's an investment that has to be made, and they will aggressively go after that federal money if available. That video, as well as phone calls from Faith made to 911 during the chase asking to talk to his girlfriend, are not being released due to the pending investigation. So ultimately what we need to do is have a fleet of three B-2 or B-3 type helicopters where you can always have two airships in service and one rotated out. The chief mentioned that San Antonio has received federal help to afford some helicopters. And he's asking why we can't get that help here in the capital city. And as I mentioned, the 911 calls from Faith to 911 asking to speak with his girlfriend will be released, but not until the investigation is completed. We're live downtown. Chris Sadegi, KXAN Austin News.